Hello, Burgundy fans, this is Double City Signature here, and we are watching a Scalio attacking Listanoise. Now, I've sent out my Ira team, which is, um, you know, pretty much my second best, uh, yeah, second best team here, and I need to finish off Norgard. So, he's down to two castles at the moment. He's down to Alrhyme and Listanoise, and this is one of the battles that I'm going to be attacking, and I'm attacking both castles at the same exact time. So, finally moved my guys into position, or uh, girls I should say, but uh, yeah, um, for this battle I've been getting tired of having Lord, or having a vampire in the team, so I'm kind of just throwing him out there and if he dies, he dies. You know, he's a walker. Gotta kill the walkers. Uh, so, yeah, Gwingolin's gotta do he just has done heavy, 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 but also what it does do is it draws the enemy in closer. So now Gwingulin's right in my front line. Not exactly where I want him to be for Meteo Doom, but he's very close to a lot of other things that are going to hurt him pretty badly. Um, at this point, there's a particular strategy that I wanted to talk about for taking over Norgard. Now, with this strategy, it's a little difficult to think about sometimes, but I'll have to show you in a strategy breakdown that I'm going to pull out pretty soon here. And I'm just going to try to show the map a little better than I did last time. I think last time it was still a little far away, it was still kind of hard to read it. But also here, trying to edit this, i got a little tiny window to see it on, and the window looks almost... Uh, picture perfect uh, sometimes and sometimes it's not clear so you know I don't really have a whole lot of uh, guy you know I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have here but uh, this next time I'm going to try to blow it up a little better um, I might not show some of the other places that you need to defend I'm just going to call them out because you know they're not that vital to you know each strategy um, you know strategical defense uh, or, you know, for the offense, but, um, anyway, I will get on that at a different time. Um, the Biner doesn't really have much here. I mean, there's really not a whole lot going on. If I just kill off Gwingulin, that's pretty much going to be it for them. Um, I'd like to kill off a Dragon or two, but, uh, because in this battle I kind of had Rush, uh, there are a few other things going on, um, but uh, I do feel that at this moment, either Iris team or Driss team can handle whatever Vinard has. So even if I kill off a lot of dragons or not, it won't really matter because I'm already sending Drist out to Alarime to attack um, that you know that castle there and finish off Norgard. So I don't really have to kill off a whole lot of stuff. I can just kind of you know. I just kill out the leaders if I want to. Uh, most of my monsters are pretty, pretty high level. Um, I can't really level them much up anymore. Uh, you know, maybe except for getting another Lord Vampire if I, you know, chose to go that route, which I don't really want to because I already have one Lord, Va uh, Lord Vampire, and uh, he's really awesome. And I don't really want to have to work on any more projects at the moment. I'm just going to kind of, you know, see what lives, what dies, you know, play a true Drist strategy here, <laughs> where it's, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what lives or what dies, uh, you know, as far as, um, you know, taking over the continent, because at the end, and, um, well, I guess I won't uh, give away any spoilers for anybody that hasn't really played this game before, um, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to really talk about that much. Um, I know this game is still fairly old, it's, uh, well, it came out in 98, it's 2012, so it's, uh, yeah, it's it's over a decade old, so I don't know how many people actually have this game still, I know that some people that are really devoted to playing Burgundine and that still have this game, uh, still love it, uh, I know some people that don't have this game or just never got the game and they found out how good it was trying to get emulators. I tried looking up an emulator, and it just seems like um, some people have problems with some of them, like where it just crashes and, you know, nothing really works well for it, so I don't know if I really want to get that. I really don't want my computer crashing more than it does. 
trying to um, trying to use a Dazzle and a Roxio software seems to conflict enough already. And uh, I've had a crash before because of video card issues. Um, I had to get a new video card, which um, you know does work better, but uh, I really don't want to download something that uh, you know possibly harmful to the computer. So I'm just gonna play, you know, this way. It's still working just fine, you know. Take maybe takes a little more, you know, effort to do it, but um, I still enjoy, you know, playing on the PlayStation. Um, I know that they're uh, bringing out a PlayStation 4 at some point. And, uh, I think right before they do that, I might just go and buy a PlayStation 3 because, uh, yeah. Well, maybe once they bring out the PlayStation 4, I'll buy a PS3. Um, yeah, just haven't had the money to do it, you know, they've been uh, raising prices on those games way too high. I mean, the last time I bought a PlayStation 2 was the first time it came out, I think it was like almost $400 I bought it in Texas. Um, I'm not sure how much it was up here in the, you know, in uh, Wisconsin, but um, it might have been cheaper, but still, I mean, that's a pretty heavy price. I mean, you got to be really sort of devoted to, um, you know, a few games that you want to play. I mean, I know some people probably, you know, buy a system just to have the system, but, um, I mean, for the longest time I was buying consoles for the particular game that was going to come out with it, so, you know, it, it um, I guess that depends on everybody, uh, but, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to get a PlayStation 3 for a while here, and, uh, yeah, and since the PlayStation 4, technically, I guess they say they're not going to be you know, backwards compatible, I don't know if I'm going to get it. I mean, it might be some time before I even, you know, really try to go and get it. I might, um, you know, later on just try to get some games with the computer. Because, <coughs> uh, you know, I know where you can buy some controllers and whatnot. Overall, I think that might be cheaper in so, you know, a lot of ways. Um, but uh, anyway, I've got a little off, uh, a little off pace here with um, what I've been talking about. I just kind of ramble on sometimes. So, <clears throat> yeah, I killed off the dragon. You know, not much, you know, else is going on here. In this battle, technically, if I just kill off the leader and have them force retreat, then the next battle they cannot for force retreat. They're stuck. So the next battle with Drist is going to be a, uh, you know, boss of the round battle where I'm going to be, you know, banging heads with, you know, some of their best stuff. Well, they'll, the only stuff they have left. And since Gwinglin's on this side, it's going to make that side a little bit easier because Gwinglin's one of their, you know, finer's top knights. Um, and so, yeah, here I figured, you know what, I'm just going to sacrifice him. I'm going to get uh, Gwinglin down a little bit lower, just kill off Gwinglin and just move on to the next thing. Get some. This is my third vampire I've leveled up so far. The walk, a walker, and um, yeah, it's. Eh. I'd rather have something different actually because you kind of have to, you know, walk softly with these things. You know, and I figured, well, if he dies off, I can throw reborn in there, and um, you know, he's that much closer to killing off Kalinga. I know I went for the lizard guard. I was like, yeah, I'll kill the wizard guard. But, um, now I'm that much closer to having, like, really strong monsters attack. And, uh, at this point in the game, I really don't need to be, um, you know, babying monsters and trying to level them up very high. I just kind of want to, you know, get higher level monsters and work on that. Because I'm at the point in the game where I should have tons of high, high level monsters. Higher than mid level monsters. And I'm kind of at the point where I, I have, you know, close to, um, you know, close to that goal that I try to sort of set for myself when I play this game. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, in the next set of events, I'm standing on, well, I'm not on Jukes anymore, but I'm going to move back to Jukes and I'm going to have this team attack south to Libby. So I'm going to want either a Lizard Guard there or a Hydra, or a Merman, or something water-like to go down to Lydney. So if I lose the walker, which isn't going to do me any good there anyway, then I can have something a little bit better to go down there. And uh, 
with these little ghouls and the vampires. I mean, still, they're almost like a lizard guard, but in a lot of ways they're weaker. They have weaker defense, and um, yeah, it's just forget it. I'm not going to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this. Um, and uh, yeah, he's going to force retreat back to um, uh, Alarime. But I'm already attacking there right now, so it's going to be whatever he has there. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, uh, this is Double Seven Seven Trigger here, and I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.